The media is slamming the Trump plan to cut the death tax, the estate tax, saying it's a giveaway for the rich. But Trump economic advisor Gary Cohn saying, no, it benefits small businesses and family farms, the little guys, the mom and pop shops, the most. So you, you all talk about the, the, death, the death tax and that, that being a great benefit. The two biggest drivers for repeal of the death tax are the NFIB and the Farm Bureau. That's small businesses and farms. Those are the two organizations that spend the most time lobbying on the repeal of the death tax. Death tax has the biggest effect on them, small businesses and farms. Wealthy Americans do a lot of estate planning. They can use trust. They can use all types of things that are legal within the tax code to make sure they don't pay death tax. Let's talk to a farmer about this. Joining me now, Liberty Farms owner Martha Bonita, Bonetta rather. Good to see you, Martha. What are your thoughts on the media and the Democrats' argument that it is moral to hit you and other small businesses with the estate tax? It's moral to do so. You know, small family farmers are the backbone of America, the heartbeat of America. I mean, American family farmers, we feed America. We provide the, the food on the shelves. These are small family businesses, small mom and, mom and dad shops. And, you know, this death tax is not only immoral, it's offensive because it, it, it forces the, the aging out population, the average American family farmer is 65 years old. It, it forces the next generation that wants to farm, that wants to inherit the family farm, that wants to keep the, the legacy of the family farm continuing. And it forces them, in, in many cases, to sell off their farm in order to satisfy this inheritance tax, this death tax that has been strangling, strangulating the American family farmer for generations. Yeah. And, and we couldn't be more ha happy for the uh, repeal of this de death tax because what it means is yeah go ahead finish. yes no what it, what it means is it's going to give the next generation of family farmers hope right. because they're overregulated as it is I mean the family farmer is overregulated to death and then that commingled with this death tax the next generation that wants to farm says I'm going to be stopped in, dead in my tracks before I even get a chance to really work the family farm and to make the American dream come yeah, true. You know it's amazing your family builds a business for generations and then the tax comes in you got to get you have to sell the farm to pay the tax that's the question is it moral for the government to tax people try, twice is it moral to tax Tax them twice once they earn the money and again when they have to give it away. I mean, is it moral for the government to create a tax that benefits tax lawyers and insurance company to structure tax havens to avoid the tax? Does that make a, the world a better place? Well, you know, you're, you're absolutely correct. And I, and I can tell you firsthand that, you know, listen, this is, this is America. You should be able to work really hard. And, and take the fruit of your labor and leave it behind for the next generation without having to go to your resting place and worry about whether or not your children are going to have to sell off the family farm to pay for those taxes on what you've already been taxed on your entire life. It's immoral and it's offensive. And this, this repealing this death tax give, breathes hope and opportunity into the next generation of family farmers that want so much to be able to carry out the, the, the American dream of farming. Yeah. And uh, we're, we feel so grateful that this is coming. It's long overdue. And it's also could have all sorts of impacts on the shelves. I mean, you know, this could, in fact, reduce the price of, of you know, goods on the on the American grocery uh, store shelves because this burden is going to be lifted off of the American family farmer. You know, Martha, it was a temporary t tax. It was supposed to be temporary to pay for wars last century. I mean, Mar Ronald Reagan had it right. Nothing is more temporary than a, a temp permanent than a temporary tax, if you can understand that. That's right. Martha, good to see you. Thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. Thank you.